Let's explore five entry tech jobs that are great for analytical people and don't require any coding skills. Every year, thousands of people die inside from boring, dead-end, low-paid, mind-numbingly soulless jobs. But a few of them manage to break free and enter the high-paid world of tech by landing one of these five entry roles. Could one of these possibly be the best non-coding tech job for you? Let's start by grouping tech workers into two broad categories. Some people are makers and some people are managers. You're able to watch this video on YouTube because Google hired a bunch of people who make and manage stuff. Let's start off with the makers. The first job is UX design. This is Michelle. Her strengths are communication, empathy, and critical thinking. Before working at YouTube, she had a dead end job as a sales associate, but she was naturally good at understanding her customers' needs. Her friendliness made customers feel good about their buying decisions. Her job at YouTube is similar, but way better. As a UX designer, her job is the art of making the customer journey as smooth as possible. One of the reasons you use YouTube is that you're always able to find something you wanna watch and it's enjoyable. That's what UX design is all about, making sure that using a product or service is easy and leaves people feeling good. So how does Michelle do it? Well. She does it by understanding what you want and then creating designs that make it happen. She blends together research, creative thinking, and technical skills to build a seamless experience. She uses critical thinking skills to figure out how to make things work perfectly. Michelle doesn't do this alone. The second job is data analyst. Andre used to work in logistics for a trucking company. He hated the environment, but was skilled at analyzing information and helping logistics planners design better routes. Andre now applies the skills of critical thinking and curiosity to help Michelle design great experiences at YouTube. Andre uses tools like heat maps and click tracking to understand how people use YouTube. Andre helps Michelle set up A-B test, a method for comparing two different versions of YouTube features. He gathers this data, identifies trends, and presents his findings to Michelle in the form of graphs, charts, and reports. This information helps Michelle make design decisions based on data. Before our team of makers at YouTube can roll out new features, they need to create user documentation and helpful guides. This leads us to our third job, technical writer. Kim loves to learn and is a very curious person. Kim is particularly good at taking complex subjects and making them easy to understand for everyone. These skills served her well in her previous job as a school teacher. Although teaching wasn't for her, the process of becoming a school teacher gave her experience in researching and interviewing. Now she uses the same skills to research and gather technical information from experts. Kim works alongside Michelle to document upcoming changes to YouTube's algorithm in preparation for the upcoming feature updates. Okay, so we've covered three entry-level maker roles. Now let's dive into the two entry-level manager roles. The fourth entry-level job is the system administrator. Jamal is a team player. He's a good communicator, and he's particularly good at coming up with creative solutions to solve problems. He honed those skills by working as a customer support representative for a large insurance agency. The job had no upward mobility, but Jamal was good at resolving customer complaints by developing good working relationships across different departments. Today at YouTube, Jamal is a system administrator and helps with the support and maintenance of the technical infrastructure of YouTube's platform. Jamal supports Andre and Michelle on this project by helping them leverage YouTube's user behavior analytics tools. He helps them plan and configure their A-B tests by granting them the correct permissions and troubleshooting any issues. Jamal is resourceful. He taught himself Windows, Linux, and Mac systems. He also taught himself scripting to automate some of his work. This brings us to our fifth entry tech job, the cybersecurity professional. Mac is a cybersecurity professional, and he's an extremely analytical person. He trained as an accountant and is good at spotting when something is off with the numbers. At YouTube, Mac mostly spends his time providing security awareness training. On this project, Mac has been assigned to conduct a risk assessment to identify potential security vulnerabilities. Once the assessment is complete, Mac works with Jamal to implement appropriate mitigation strategies to minimize risk. So, now that you know what the top five jobs are to break into tech, how do you do it? The most popular pathway into tech these days are boot camps, but boot camps demand focus, resilience, and determination. You'll be pushed to your limits racing to absorb a massive amount of information in a short span of time. Online courses, while they offer flexibility, 
The challenge lies in maintaining self-discipline. You can waste a lot of time and money by not completing online courses. Plus, learning online requires self-motivation and time management. Balancing these courses with existing commitments can feel like juggling, and sometimes you will drop the ball. Once you've gathered the skills, the quest for work experience begins. But the reality is that acquiring the necessary skills to be competitive can feel like trying to open a locked door with a handful of keys. For many of you, you're holding down a full-time job just trying to make ends meet. You're worn out. You might be trying to be the best parent that you can be. The thought of starting over in tech seems impossible. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. The truth is, change is not easy. It's a gradual transition that requires dedication and perseverance. Whether you're looking to conquer tech boot camps, master online courses, or conquer the daunting task of gaining work experience, this channel is your compass. Sprint Hard, Iterate Fast is a resource, a companion, a source of unwavering support as you navigate this journey of change and transformation. We aim to empower you with knowledge, inspire you with stories of those who have already made the shift and provide you with the actionable steps to move into tech. But beyond that, our channel is a community, a space where you can connect with like-minded individuals who share your dreams, your struggles, and your determination to make it in the tech industry. Together, we'll turn challenges into stepping stones, doubt into triumph. Our channel is your partner in growth and achievement. So, if you're ready to embrace this journey, if you're ready to transform your life, if you're ready to rewrite your story and redefine your future, if you're ready to silence the doubts and amplify your determination, if you're ready to trade comfort zones for growth zones, uncertainty for opportunity, if you're ready to rise with resilience, defy odds and shatter limitations, hit that subscribe button. Join a community of individuals determined to rise above their circumstances.